Circuit judge will hear arguments on whether statement Chicago police officer Jason Van Dyke made to the Fraternal Order of Police can be presented during his trial. CBS 2 Susanna Song is live at Lake and Criminal Courts where the hearing will happen later this morning. Hi, Susanna. Hey, good morning, Aaron. Jason Van Dyke confided in the FOP after he was charged in the murder of Laquan McDonald. Well, now today, a judge must decide if that information is considered privileged. Well, this morning's hearing and the one prior to this one are laying the ground rules for trial. The court must determine what is and is not admissible. At the last hearing late last month, Van Dyke took the witness stand. The prosecution questioned if he was forced to give statements to the lead detectives the night Van Dyke fatally shot. McDonald. Well, in the end, the judge ruled that some of his statements were not protected and could potentially be used against him. Meanwhile, they've looked at her record dealing with police officer prosecutions, and they feel that maybe she's a little too biased on behalf of police officers. Um, she's a fair judge, but the, every judge has their biases. And when it comes to uh, somebody who's a former assistant state's attorney, like she was, and you develop a relationship with the Chicago Police Department, that's hard to overcome. I guess we are having some technical information or technical problems with the soundbite. But um, Irv Miller again saying that the information that uh, we received yesterday about the judge being replaced was because uh, Judge Cannon might be considered prejudiced. And there is a new judge on that case. And that case, um, again, about the three officers indicted for covering up the shooting. Now, the hearing, as I mentioned, will start at 9 this morning. Reporting live outside of the Layton Criminal Courts building, Susanna Song, CBS 2 News. Back to you. Thank you, Susanna.